welcome everyone, it's time for more Frostpunk 2. Last time, I maybe made a mistake. I don't know, but we'll get to that. So, uh, what we did as a uh, first thing, I suppose, was research. Because we were running a deficit on coal, and we didn't have any more coal, so we needed to do something about that. There was a bit of a research that we could do. A building placed inside of the district, from which you can get more stuff basically and you know what that's a good point we're gonna get back to that one too so i did that i went with the frost ladder approach which uh, basically meant that we were doing some like coal dusting or dust coal dusting thing in my bob um can't look at that right now but basically in here i now have a building called a dust coal mine gives us more coal cost a bit of materials cost a bit of workforce raises the disease a little bit but this is the one that cost more workforce and produce less coal that's true however in the long run it probably is a good idea maybe and as i was saying in the last episode i mean they put the option in there surely the option isn't bad like we're super early in the game so hopefully they haven't put an option in that's like a bait <laughs> like you're stupid to go for this one you should go should have gone for the other one so hopefully that is going to be super fine and uh, i also did another research uh, where i learned another thing about the game which is that i, I went for the research that uh, lowered the requirement of people so this uh, district or yeah this district in total requires a thousand workers I now have 900 only, so we're a bit more efficient. But just because you research something doesn't mean you automatically get it. On this occasion, we had to pass a law to do it as well. So we have done that. That's all fine. But yes, good thing to know. And the thing about that is that I don't 100% know... I don't 100% know if the game told me that was going to be a thing... Hopefully, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, uh, the second thing, the big thing, is that um, we are now in the Frostland. Like, proper Frostland. Here we go. This is New London. We have a few areas about. Indeed, four areas, as it seems. Now, the Highlands and the Gorge, they are dangerous areas, so we're not going there. The Foothills and the Frozen Bay, those are easy. So... I'm not 100% sure how this is going to work, but like if we click this, we can see that uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. Did I read about this? I don't think I did. So it says uh, these windswept foothills used to be thoroughly explored, but White House have erased the past and safe houses we constructed. The area had an old coal mine, though. Maybe there's leftover coal there still. Could be fine. So we can find the uh, prefabs, cores, which is nice, and uh, dwellers, lovely. But the game sort of vaguely told me that uh, the people that we have, the Frostland teams, they might be able to sort of set up camp. Kind of like uh, surviving the aftermath to a point where we can sort of utilize various uh, areas for various purposes. And sometimes it's just a one-off thing, which I presume would be if we find some resources. We're not going to, you know, linger. We're just going to bring them home. But if there's some sort of proper resource node, then we need some people there. And uh, yeah, that is basically what we're doing right now. So on this occasion, we've sent 10 people out. We have five in in, in storage, so to speak, but we can't go here because, yes, we need 10. Now, that's the thing that I want to look at, too, by the way. Also, there's a... Ooh. Oh, I didn't see this. This is fun. Trail construction. So, heat stamps per route segment. Prefabs. Basically, basic quality trade route. Allows shipping 250 units of any resource. So, presumably, we... Oh, they... oh. oh this is cool. Obviously not relevant right now, because I su suppose we need some some something to draw the draw it to, I suppose. That's interesting. Cool. So, the mistake that I maybe did was that right outside the city, there were a few new Londoners. They were just chilling out, waiting for things to, you know, improve here. Like, I don't know what their, their status was. <laughs> maybe it was the people that we had in the prologue. Potentially. Uh, I don't know, but yes, we invited them. We had a deficit on the workforce, meaning that we were very much struggling with basically everything. So I brought them in. 
Now that might have been stupid because of the fact that, uh, yeah, we were doing a nice job on the coal. We had like a hundred surplus or something, but, and we're still doing that, we're having, we have a negative of materials. And uh, the more negative it is, the higher the squalor. So we can see now that the squalor is absent right now, but it is growing. And we're also having some uh, crime greatly increased by goods scarcity, which is also a thing, which I still don't know exactly how to do. And it is interesting because I think I should be doing more. Because if we go into here, we passed a law. The law that we were supposed to pass for the new Londoners. Mass-produced goods. Goods produ production efficiency is increased. Which is what I've chosen. But we were at 50 and we're still at 50. So I don't know exactly how that works. But also it could be that the central district doesn't yet necessarily produce goods goods it might just i don't know <laughs> i don't know but yeah we're gonna have to get on that somehow i'm not 100 sure so yeah in order to counter the fact that we're losing materials we need more people and that's a way to get more people so my idea was that and we'll see if this pans out now no 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 get back to what i thought about before which is that yeah now with more people I can literally build another one of these. I can literally build one more of these. It's 400 workforce, and uh, it's obviously gonna... No, right, this doesn't cost the heat, that's true. But yeah, why wouldn't I? I mean, yes, material demand again, but that's another 150 coal. Yes. Yes. We're building some district. We're gonna need some... Um, we're gonna need more food. That is 600. Okay, you know what? Idea, good idea. We'll chill a little bit with it. We'll chill a little bit with it. Now, what I am going to do is I am going to turn this on. Because, again, I do have the workforce right now. So, we're going to turn... Did I look at the right one? Yes, I did. 600 workforce. I didn't remember that it was that much. Uh, but yeah, we do need to do some research. So we're going to go into research. And I'm thinking... I'm thinking about heat. Get heat down. Everyone enjoys this one. Everyone enjoys with this one. Enjoys with this one. That's not even a word. And I can't do it right now. So we should, uh, <clears throat> we should just turn it off again. We need... Wait, no. Wait, hold on. Are we researching? Yes, we are researching something. Never mind, yes, we're researching efficiency bonus. I was about to say, aren't we doing something? Yes, we are. We are doing uh, uh, that one. Yes, under research, 22%. I was fooled by the fact that there wasn't a number there. 22% for this one. Production efficiency is slightly increased. I mean, that's just a good idea, right? Because, like, currently we're producing what? Now we're losing coal, by the way. Currently we're producing 500. If slightly increased, as it was with the workforce, so we slightly decrease there. But if slightly equals roughly 10%, I mean, that's another 50 just from what we currently have. If they can build that thing... Might not be a bad uh, bad uh, output there. We're also very much looking forward to this. Because we have this little... I don't like this one, by the way. This one is too tiny. They really should have made this bigger to make it more apparent. And there's also no tooltip for it. But basically, we have a population growth process. Pro oh, no, never mind. Oh, now I get it. I thought the percentage was how much we're gonna get. No, the percentage is when we get to 100, we get some sort of increase. But I don't know... Okay, that makes it even worse, because then I don't know how much. Okay, so how much do I get? <laughs> All right, well, okay, fair enough. Now I understand the number. The 53% is literally how far we've gone. I got it. Okay, okay, that's fine. But yeah, okay, back to the final bit before we start time. Um, exploring a region out in the Frostland takes 15 weeks, at least for this one. That's 15 weeks. We have 130 or 29 right now then. But when we began, we were at 130 weeks left at the current rate of coal. Not too happy about those numbers. So hopefully we'll uh, manage here. We do have a bit stockpiled. 
uh, 73 a week at this current rate. Let's uh, start time off and we shall be going. So we're frost breaking in two places. We're building a housing district over here. We're gonna need... Oh, bloody hell. 18 died. The Murray shifts in New London. Okay. Well, that's too bad, ain't it? <laughs> Sorry to those people, I suppose. Uh, so we're frost broken into here. We need to frost break again. But this is basically where we want our next... Oh, shit. I made our mistake again. Didn't I? Why did I go there? Should have gone there. Maybe even there. I couldn't have gone there. One, two, three, four, five. That's not. Oh, did I have to go there? Oh, maybe I did. Anyway, we need to cover all of those. Then it doesn't matter, so we're just gonna go there. So that's where we can have a second housing because we're, you know, we're lacking enough for two districts. So that is what we're gonna do. Now over here, we're frost breaking up to food, and there's a very good situation up here, which I can get to exactly. I can get to all of those. Good, good, good. So that's uh, food because obviously now we're also running low of food. 170 weeks for that though, so we're not uh, in the biggest of issue there. So right then, but yeah, I'm happy that I've remembered that. Yes, with the uh, increased workforce, we can actually build one more of these for a lot more coal. That's a good thing. I could, I suppose. Oh, so, right, right, right. Now we have that. 18 there. Good. Your frost broken in there. We should immediately just do this. I know that our heat requirements goes up, but yeah. We just need that to go away because you can see here the cold is increased by shelter scarcity as a major point. Um, and yes, that's cold, etc. etc. Good scarcity. How the hell are we gonna combat that? Um we do have a significantly increase in guard squads. Oh, how far are we? Are? Oh, bloody hell, I just miss this all the time. Right, we need some rules for childhood because we had an incident where some kids brought out the butterflies and had a bit of a rumble in the city. We don't want that. So we need to pass a law. Either family apprenticeship, most people are divided on that, so to speak. So you can say that all children must work alongside one of their relatives so that they learn their trade and continue the family tradition. Percentage of active workers is increased, which I would like. Or mandatory school. To guarantee that all children have the skills and knowledge needed in the city, we will establish a mandatory school program supported by the city. More research, but a slight decrease in heat stamps income. I can deal with that, and most people are most likely going to agree on this, I'm going to assume. Do I need to... I mean, I have 29 for already. Do I need to negotiate with someone? Uh, Frostland is a new Londoners. I mean, if I can get you guys on board, that would be good. Uh, I want you to vote for... I like, I, I like that I can propose a law and have people vote against it. <laughs> How does that work? So, you would like the Advanced Blasting Coal Mine to be researched. Feel that that is not where I want to go right now. Chemical hothouse. I can see that one. Or... Ooh, uh, yeah, okay. Progress and prefabs in the main district. I mean, again, it doesn't feel like it's the most useful. But I think I've been looking at this anyway. Yeah, you know what? You can have that. I'm okay with that. So there we go. We do that. We vote. And uh, let's see what people say. And they're gonna say yes. Children will go to school in my city. It's gonna be a school full of hard knocks, etc, etc. But uh, hopefully they'll love it anyway. So shallow law has been regulated. You kept your promise and avoided unnecessary chaos in the city. And for that we get some trust, which is good. Because then that means I can do emergency shifts. <laughs> Lovely. Alright then. There we go. Note, a new rule enters into force. Uh huh. So what I don't like about this button, by the way, is the little pie, pie piece that's cut out. Looks like there's something going on when it isn't. So I need to very much be on the lookout for this. Now let's also look at this. We are doing good on progress. We're doing good on reason, but we haven't done anything here. Merit. Presumably where I do want to go. 
quality is fine too, I suppose. But we're not doing any of that right now. We probably should. So chemical on us is a thing. Oh. What I can't do it in a week. But for the love of God, do you mean that I need to switch out? And I really hope that... Uh, okay, does that work? Uh, does that work? Yeah, I can literally cannot do it. So, how is this going to work? All right, there we go. Bloody hell, not one week. 40 weeks, like the other one. Good. Um, right, where are we? Where are we? Let's gauge here. Let's gauge where we are in the world. We've frost broken over there. We need to do an extraction district for food. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. So you, how much are you producing? 50. So it's actually going to be enough with that one. Good. Have you heard, Susie? You're going to school. I'm so happy from Barnabas Inwood. Yes, Barnabas. It's going to be great. I won't let them do to you, do your head in with their rubbish, kid. Oh, Cecile, I think we have a good place for you. It's called a prison, but we don't have it. Barnabas is over here now. Is it wise for the steward to listen to them? Probably, yes. So, efficiency bonuses. Now, is that a thing that we again need to research? Yes. Okay. So, again, that is also a thing that we need to research. Now, if I go in here, I just want to check. So how... Is that the... Th is that what that means? The hand thing? Can I... Understand? I mean... I don't feel like it says anything here. It doesn't feel like it says anything here. Oh, here we go. Right. It says down here. Okay. Researching this idea will unlock a new law. Okay. So, okay, don't go out. Uh, so, okay. But we can't see it from here. Uh, we can't. Oh, no, no. We can see it from here. Yeah, okay. And then, what is it with you? You are researching this idea will unlock a new building. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, do I, I don't want to do this right now. We have the time for it, don't worry. So what I would like to check out is this, because I wouldn't mind more Frost... Uh, what was it? Frost team? Frostlander team or whatever? So what is it, this? Yeah, Frost uh, Frostland team output. Vanguard Logistics, that's a new building. Then we're automatic, automated logistics bay, fewer. Fewer teams, fewer uh, workforce requirements, but all other is similar. Okay, I mean, I can't do that right now, so I don't think we should focus on that. Harvester hangers, this is also building, another 400 workforce, but that's a lot of workforce in this game. Harvesting, we haven't gotten to that yet, so don't think about that. Expiration time is decreased, territory threat level is decreased. Now that's an interesting one. And on this occasion, this particular one, the Frostland, obviously the Frostlanders are the better ones. <laughs> 400 workers, yes, if we're the same for both, but here it's slightly decreased, here it is decreased, so more than for these guys. Scouts headquarters, survivalist headquarters. I don't know. Skyway connections can be built in the Frostland to another transport of more resources from colonies and upwards. All of this is very important, but I don't think we need that right now. What I think we should do is literally this. Like the base, if, because if we look at the housing districts, the heat demand is 40. Like that is a lot. It's the, the highest, in fact. So if we can cut that down, it says uh, decrease. It doesn't say slightly, so it might be like, I don't know, 15, 20% or something. I think that's just a good idea. We're going to be building a lot more housing districts in the future as well. So, yeah. So researching this idea will provide a passive bonus. When, it's, when it looks like this, it means that you just get it. You don't have to pass a law or anything. So, yeah, we're gonna go for that one. That feels reasonable. We're gonna get this number up, don't worry. Alright then, keep going with this housing district built. 
we are going to be golden on the shelter. We do have some squalor now. I know. I know. It's not good. Hello, Nell Sinkfield, housewife. Lovely. Do we have housewives? Why do we have housewives? So word about their son looking for a culprit. Well, Joe has been coughing all night. His forehead's as hot as the generator. It's them Turners. I know it's them. They got that new flu. And here they are strolling about the neighborhood, carrying on with their business. They're killing people. That's what they're doing. Oh, please, Lord Almighty. Are you talking to me? Hopefully you're talking to me. I am the Lord Almighty. I can't stand to lose another child. Someone's gonna get through to them. The lack of a law regulating contagion prevention. Okay. Gotcha. We know what we need to do in the next uh, round of the council. Absolutely. That seems reasonable. So with that done, that's done. Now this is gonna diminish. Good. And with this done... And with this done, food should be fine. Now, how much food is in here, by the way? Uh, okay, a lot of food. <laughs> a lot of food. So with that done, that's fine. Now, okay, running a very, very heavy deficit here. <laughs> I got it. So we're going to have to think about that. But uh, yes. Now, building this one is now... Oh, bloody hell. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, it's sadly not an option. It's a uh, 400 of course, which you don't have. During school hours will be punished. Yes, punish the kids. Oh, you are... Prefabs. Okay, so prefab district is running out. Delegate session. Hold and efficiency bonuses will be held in a few weeks. So apparently... I cannot avoid that. Can we not just do it immediately? Do I need to do something? Okay, so the Frostlanders would like to negotiate here. So durable goods, no. Byways, hot ties, heat recycling. Oh, can I just do that? That seems good. Yes, let's do that. <laughs> That's smart. Uh, vote. Efficiency bonuses. Hopefully people are gonna enjoy that. Oh, come on. There we go. Good job. Okay, the there we go. <laughs> so there we go. We're now... Oh, look at that. We basically have the coal. Oh, that's very lovely. So, ooh. Oh, that was quite a lot. 125... Oh, it was 25%. Right? Yes. One, 25%. So 25% increase. That's just really, really good. Now, granted... Oh. Okay, what's going on here? What have we done here? Oh, hello. Okay. Did I get a notification about this? Feels like I'm missing notifications somehow. So, here we go. A rusted engine is highlighted. The Jettison secondary engine of a dreadnought on this hull. We found a core, a replaceable, uh, irreproducible component from before the frost that we can use to power our most advanced technology. Okay, that's fine. But that's not what we need right now. An old observatory. We have some frost banners. Okay, could get another 2,200. I think we'll shell with that for now. And then we have an abandoned coal mine. Okay, but that is prefabs. Coal mine, but I can't get coal. <laughs> okay, so take the stored prefabs. Using the mine will uh, take more frostland teams. 300 prefabs, 5 frostland teams. We could do that. Or, what is it? Actually, just read the text. Mining complex inhabited by children a long time ago. Over the years, they grew older and became citizens of New London. The last miners were ordered home by the captain, but we know some coal remains at the shafts. The approach trail is in poor condition, but we found a warehouse with prefabs the captain intended to use to improve it. We could take them or leave them in place. Ah, right. We obviously keep it. So using the mine will take fewer frostlet teams. Yes, do that. So possible settlement. A mining complex once inhabited by children who, over many years, grew older and now elder citizens of New London. An outpost here could increase the supply by 250 coal until its deposit of 448,000 is depleted. Absolutely. So now we get to do this. Now we get to build this going home. Oh, we need to... Okay, never mind then. Uh, build the road. From here to... Here. Do we need to go there? I don't think we do. 
How do I... Like so? Is, is that how we do it? <laughs> Why did... Oh, because... Ah, okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on. Chill out. I think that... Terrain has... A thing here, so... Not, yeah, see, okay. The, look at the terrain. The terrain is important. So, 75 uh, prefabs, teams, etc, etc. Three weeks to do it. That is how we get more of that. Now, we only have five Frostland teams, so... I can get those people home. Now, with all of that coal, aren't we looking pretty damn good? Especially if I can get the... Um, um, the research for the housing heat to go down as well. Oh, I'm gonna chill a little bit. <laughs> I already did good by bringing the first people in. See, now we're actually making... How am I making a surplus all of a sudden? Why is it... Wait, what? Why is it lower? quite significantly lower than it was before. It was 625. We're also not using much. What just happened? <laughs> I haven't set it up yet, so I don't have that goal. That's interesting. Uh, materials. Yeah, we should... Right, but I can't. Because I need people. Okay, you know what? Well, we are... Ooh, look at this. 95. Time. Let's time tick along here. And we shall have a look at this. How many people do I get? So, right now, 10,500. Okay, fine, we're gonna get to this. Infectious agents, the first crack, okay. Steward, during a routine medical examination performed by stalwarts, a small group of frostliners refused to be assessed. These checkups are relics of years past when a cough could endanger the city. That's gone now. Is it, though? We've adapted, the one said. No point continuing this invasion of privacy. The Star Wars maintain that regular physical help ensure the safety of our workers. It's vital we monitor our citizens' health. Uh, one of four men pushed back. We've uh, had epidemics in the past. We mustn't allow for another one, obviously. So for the sake of safety, no one can afford to be bashful. The subgroup of Frostland will oppose this decision, which I'm really... Pushing them a lot. So allow mandatory checkups, ban mandatory checkups, don't interfere. No, we absolutely should do this. I'm really sorry, Frostlanders. I don't uh, I don't play nice with you right now. So there we go. And in the idea tree, I did that. Oh, that is also presumably one of the reasons why that is better. So now if we look at a house in district, 50% that was. That was 50 percent okay so that was a really good one now we do have a heat dispatcher that's a new building bunch of workforce again uh, gives heat i think so this dispatcher control center where engineering teams monitor and optimize district heating so this is built in like any district i suppose food extraction industrial logistic housing so you can have one that's way more efficient, but put a bit of squalor to it. So basically, okay, so that is an interesting one too. I'm gonna shill. Uh, should we just do this one so that they're happy? Or was I thinking about something else? What did we get here, by the way? Food efficiency. Is that what it was called? Food energy efficiency. So, to limit the amount of heat required by food districts specifically, cultivars will be carefully selected. So, this is just a as a bonus again. Basic amount of food districts is significantly decreased. That is nice. Uh, how much time do I have left on the heat recite? What does it always say? Z1. 35. There we go. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, 24 weeks for that. You know what? We should just uh, get on that, I think. Just to make sure that we don't uh, screw ourselves over. So, uh, uh, New Londoners, yep, research that. Good, good, good. Uh, now we are doing... What's this? Oh, not, not that. I mean, we are doing this right? Yes. Trail is being right. Yes, yes, yes. No, no, stop, stop. Pressing escape. Please keep pressing escape. Am I gonna get, like, a notification about that when it's done? I really hope so. Um, 
Right, we need to think about prefabs a little bit. How's materials looking? 359 weeks, that's absolutely fine. We have some prefabs over here, so we can just sort of replace this district when we want to. Help us keep okay, 1,581 more people. There we go, that's what we got. And about a thousand more in the workforce, that's kind of nice. Now, that just meant that we are now again lower on the old on the old uh, housing, and when we did this... What did we get? Bloody hell, stop pressing escape. Um, so that's 20, it, it was only 5, right? Yeah, it's only 5, and we need 11. <laughs> so I need another damn district. The city grows, population growth. Steward, a new account has revealed significant growth in our population in recent weeks. Some attribute the rise to an influx of settlers from the Frost Clan, others to births, outnumbering that. Whatever the cause, we have adjusted our calculations of the city's needs to reflect the new numbers. I like that it's just a census and not like a direct uh, increase. I kind of like that. <laughs> but all right, then we need another housing district. Now, is there a way that I can do this? Yes, you can literally, this district can just grow immediately, as can this one, but I kind of like, if I do that, can I also, no, I can't go there, but I can if I do just those two, well that's a bit interesting, so yeah, I can literally, literally do this, no, I can't, why did it look like I could, <laughs> okay, so I can, I think that the, how this works is that if I now do that, it's still fine. So the whole three slots there for plus total heat. If you if you do it for if you do it for at least three, you're fine. So if I now do that, you can then connect these up to each other. I think that's fine. We do need more food. All right, we can do that. We oh. Look at that. So, yeah, with that connected, ooh, I like that, look at that. Ooh, we even get the fancy looking thing. Oh, look at that, that's cool. Uh, okay, so that just uh, that just got set up. But, oh, shoot. Shoot. That is how that works. That literally requires the teams to always be there. And I can turn it on and off. So that's 250. Right now, I actually don't need it. Right now, I don't need it. So I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to turn it off because we need to keep exploring, damn it. But that's dangerous. That's deadly. Dangerous. Deadly. <laughs> so, okay, so everything around us is just horrible, horrible, horrible. Apart from this one. So we're going to launch an expedition into here. So return to the seat. I still I know that that is as it is, and that's fine. Uh, we can't do much about that right now. I feel. But yes, uh, go, going back to what we're doing. Okay, I can't. Uh, I'm not gonna heat stamps. Fair enough. Get some. Get some heat stamps. Is it? Uh, yep. Yeah, we're done. Now, I haven't frost broken into that one. Two over there. Yeah, it is basically going to have to be here. It's going to have to be like that. We can just build it up here, I suppose. It's not the best, but it is a thing. So we can absolutely do with, deal with that. Now, I could build the thingamabob. How much more? 140. Because, yeah, this is why I wanted to keep on exploring. And kind of want why we need to do the research into the Frostland. Because... Uh, we're gonna have to push forward, but right now we can't push forward. What's going on here? Right, that's the abandoned mine. It sits over there now. Find a permanent source of fuel outside the city. Oh, yeah, permanent source. That doesn't even count as a permanent source. All right, new laws though. So we need to do, is it city? Contagion prevention seems like a smart idea. So supported quarantine. Contagious people will be placed in quarantine and cared for by the city in the dedicated accommodations, or contagious people will be required to wear a specific badge. That allows others to limit their interactions. So tension increases, but uh, disease decreases by a lot, and most people are actually for that. 
Shelter the man per capita is slightly increased, but I don't like that. But a bit of tension, that's absolutely fine. We're going to propose that. I think that most people are just going to approve of this. So why don't we just do the infectious badge vote here? I think that we are going to push over. The yes, we did. Good. good, good. The measure passes. So that has now been taken into effect. Good. So basically the Star Wars love me and the new Londoners love me. We're going to utilize that. I think I can right now, can't I? Uh, no, it's still 17 weeks for that. Okay, what I can do for you though, because I would... Ooh, de-radicalize Star Wars. Ooh. Ah, so that's what you can do with those people. I need to raise some funds with you. I'm sorry about that because I kind of want to fund some projects here. Yes, here we go. You're now looking a little bit more uh, positively on me, let's just say. Okay, another thing. Heat stamps. Dollar Wars suggest action. Okay, Steward, we're struggling with heat stamps. Not really. A group of stalwarts have come forward with an idea on how to solve it. We should research mechanical factory. Let us pursue it and the city will benefit. The stalwart look with distrust at what other communities propose. They would surely appreciate you getting a hand, uh, getting behind their idea. So this one is, if they have a way to solve his stamps in Wars or Tension, promise Star Wars that you, that you will research medical, mechanical factory within 60 weeks, which uh, marginally improves that status with you. Uh, you know what? I, can I... Can I... Bloody hell, I want to see what it is. <laughs> Thank you. Why can't I... Why is there no way to... Also, by the way, why is the text for these above the icon. That's a little bit silly. I mean, I assume that this is going to be a fine one. 60 weeks to we can get some other stuff in there before. I'm going to try it. We'll see what happens. If they, if I fail, I fail. We are now... Ooh, okay. I'm looking a little bit badly off here. I see that. But, um, okay. What were we doing? The chemical hothouse. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Okay, I hope I don't fall ill and terribly weak when I'm running a fever. Well, aren't we all? Um, we're running a bit of a deficit now. 12 weeks. How long for this? Presumably a bit short, right? Corner season, the heat demand has increased. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, everything just went horrible. Oh, but that. What just happened? Okay, new Londoners demand Matt. Lovely. Uh, what the hell just happened? Why? Oh, was it negative 340? Oh, it's over here now. Oh, right. That, that was because we did, we had some stockpile. I get it. Now we're running a deficit. I gotcha. Now, what is it that you wanted me to do? Okay, now we get a bit of thing over there. What is it that you wanted me to do? Uh... -uh. Oh, is that like over here? Then? Oh, am I not even there? Oh, am I not even be there? Mechanical factor. That feels like it's below here, right? Yeah, I think, yeah. Yeah, we need to go. Oh, it might actually be in here. Ah, right, it is in here. So that's what we need to do. But I think we should look at something else. Um, I think we should look at this, yes. So what were we talking about? Was it Scout Headquarters? Yes. So, 400, 400. It's basically just the same. Just that this is better. So there's no reason to not take this one. Like, yes, you agree on this one, but you really... And we should get some adaptation. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna get this one. Right now, I can feel the that too. So, right, keep time ticking along. As soon as we're done with the scouting of that area, we need to turn the we need to turn the coal mine on because this is not gonna last forever. This is not gonna last forever. Uh, we are gonna get uh, warmer pretty soon though, so that's good. But then it's gonna go down and stay there. So we are definitely in sort of over here. Right, so Miller Pupil doing her reading assignment. The rab it took a watch out of its wa wa waistcoat pocket. 
How come no one shanked him and took it, eh? Are rabbits even real? Gotta ask miss. Reading is hard, but it's fun and you rarely get cut. Maybe wines it don't help scouts in the frost, and then how do they read the maps? Is what I answered. That's tosser. One day, one day I'll write a book. Uh, I'll write books myself with plenty of sword fights and no snow. Good on you. Smanager school promises a better future for the children of the city. Lovely. So yeah, we are in a bit of a hurry to get this done. And again, we are getting to warmer season. What I probably should do is just make sure that we stockpile a whole bunch of coal. <laughs> that is probably what I should do. This is now done. We don't need this one anymore. So we can demolish that, but build a new one. And ooh, we should have been a bit on the ball there, because I wasn't on the ball there. Ooh, and I, ca I can see that that is the last of the prefabs. All right, so getting that... Um, Getting that uh, thingamajig. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, getting that. Uh, was, was it a law or was it a idea for creating prefabs in the main district? Might not have been a bad idea. Might not have been a bad idea. Uh, but right then, we keep on trucking. What do we have now? Over in food, the chemical hothouse. Oh, is that. Uh, is this a thing that we build in? Yeah, we build that in there, okay. Some people died, it's fine. So 300 workforce, heat stands prefabs, takes heat, 50 outputs. It's just basically more, it's basically the same as uh, this one, but for uh, food districts. So unlocks ex excessive fertilization district ability, increase food output and disease. Now currently we're doing fine on food, so... Yeah, with the district that we just built there, we are currently fine and stockpiling quite a lot. Could possibly build a little bit more there so we can stockpile even more. We are all but done with a whole bunch of stuff, so... Who goes for... You see, we didn't get anything. I did not see anything coming up here, so for some reason we need to be aware of that ourselves. Food additives, worker shifts... Basic necessities could be interesting. Community servers, work compensation. So I suppose, yeah, these are the ones that you research then, I suppose. So funerals, rule. We haven't done anything here, that's true. Guided voting could be interesting, but I suppose basic necessities then. So we can just go for... Oh, can we not? No, we can. We can. So, free essentials based on availability. The city will ensure that all citizens are provided with what they need to survive for free, including basic rations and clothing, which apparently doesn't cost anything, just gets us trust, or paid essentials. To foster responsibility and reward work, citizens will be charged a small fee. So, production efficiency increased and income or well, he stamp income is increased. Obviously, we're doing that, and people seem to be fine. Not a whole lot of people against that. So, yep, that passes without much problem. The proposed good, good, good. Has been approved. So now we're getting a healthy 14. I don't exactly... I haven't been following that, by the way. <laughs> I don't know a whole lot about what has been going on there. A 9-8 over here. And you are done. Good. So what have we got in here? Oh, there's also a thing here, apparently. That's interesting. So Ruby King Apothecary, daring to dream, for years suggesting anything against the captain meant close scrutiny from stalwarts. But despite the bullshit booming from their bloody speakers, we managed to find our own way. Kept our kept to our principles, stayed frugal, put families first, watched out for our neighbors, continued our traditions. Now we have a council. Maybe it's time for us to stop dreaming and, dreaming and make a change. So the council has inspired people to suggest new ideas. Oh, that's interesting. Now was that Oh, we got a new faction. The Pilgrims. The Pilgrims. Okay, 514 Frostlanders have organized in a faction. These Pilgrims form a resilient, spirited community held together by the bonds of tradition. They dislike infectious badge, machine centric shifts, and efficiency bonuses. <laughs> well, it's too bad for you. Okay, they want to pass community service expedition support. I can see that. Contagion prevention supported quarantine instead, and childhood family. I don't, we're not going to do those, but I wouldn't buy that one potentially. So, okay, deploy guides, community action, experienced pilgrims with a deep knowledge of the frost will guide scout teams. Okay, 
Right, we can get... Uh, that's interesting. Now, over here, what do we have? Frozen Bay Expedition. I thought we were done with this. Are we not done with that? There we go. <laughs> right, so the others. In a cavern near the bay, we found a disturbing sight. Bodies in sturdy frostland gear, neatly laid side by side and left to freeze. With black oil markings over their closed eyes. A ghastly burial ritual. A map we found suggests that they were heading to an old machine somewhere by the distant coast. A machine would require a source of fuel. We should investigate. Interesting. So that was just a thing that happened. And then we have some more people. Uh, 1,900. So we have more people to bring in. Now you said Desolate Coast. Okay, how's that one? Safe, but bloody hell, I can't do that right now. So let's go back to the city. We need to, as a matter of fact, turn this on. Go back to the city, start making a surplus again. And I'm gonna keep that, even when the temperature grows, uh, go, goes warmer. Simply because of the fact that we need to boost that a bit. Now over in here... Extraction district for prefabs. I think that we should just do that. So let's just get that in play. I could build that thing, but you know what? I was about to say, you know what? I want to do more. I want to do more research, but no, let's chill with that too for now. 71 weeks. We do need to. Oh, love of God. Okay, you guys. <laughs> uh, we can get. Uh, Ah, I thought we would be getting more of them. Well, felt like I should be able to get more teams, right? Wait. That's just favors. You currently are hostile. You're even hostile, holy hell. Okay. Um, public announce my support. I could do that. They will gain members and potentially secure additional seats. You know what? I'm gonna promote these guys. They're not like the strongest and they're not gonna be that interesting for the future, but uh, it's a bit of promotion for you. At least you're not hating me. You're just opposing right now. I can fund the project. Also good. Make a promise. Uh, you know what? Yeah. You wanted... Okay, wait. Mandatory unions. I don't want that. City run alcohol shops. I could do that. That's interesting. Yeah. Uh, all do maintenance. Yeah, that's. You know what? That's not a bad one. Oh, but it said research. Do you want to research something? Yeah, you know what? Fair enough. I'll, I'll do that. Uh, but I'll also grant a general. Right, that is the in the council. Yes. I have some heat stamps right now. Here you go. Here you go. More, more, more of you guys. But the problem is this one. We need to get that done. <laughs> uh, well, actually, not so much I just realized. Not so much I realized. Oh, uh, we kind of needed more teams more than anything. Damn it. Okay, well, I might be able to rectify that. Okay, let's just get the research done first. There we go. Survivalist headquarters. Can I even build that? Yes, I can. I literally just have it. Exploration time is down and territory threat level is decreased. I mean, that's a good one. But now I'm not sure I want to build that. <laughs> the program. War. Mandatory school. Steward. People are increasingly arguing over the curriculum taught in schools. Some think we should reduce theoretical knowledge and provide more survival training. We're filling these kids' heads with numbers and useless junk, complained an angry trapper. We ought to take them on the field trips to hunt. I mean, we're literally not hunting, so I'm not 100% sure why that is relevant. Others argue for the exact opposite. We need to teach children how to think and come up with new solutions instead of perpetuating outdated practices. And I concur on that one. So... If we go with survival training, mandatory school no longer increases research speed, but provides food instead. Okay. Science, though. Uh, should in the future, mandatory school increase research speed even more. That is very good. Or, <laughs> relations marginally worsen with all communities. No, no, no. More research speed. There we go. That's easy. 
blatant favoritism, says Cecil Stallward, which is literally the one that I <laughs> helped <laughs> just, just then. Okay, so... Good to remember that that is what we have in New London. We are getting coal in from this place, but... I think as soon as the temperature rises... As soon as the temperature... What is, did it sound like we had another event? No, we didn't. As soon as the temperature rises... How are we doing with everything? This is still materials, but I can't really do that right now. Unbelievable! Little Tyke tuned his lab on his own. Lovely. Um... I never started another thing. So, scout training, more territory threat level, exploration time decrease. But, yeah, we, we, we just need this, don't we? So, okay, both of you enjoy this. So you are together on this one. I don't know if it matters if I which one I select necessarily. And I do have promises. That's true. Uh, yeah. Okay, hold on. Uh, yes, we need to do heat recycling. I'm sorry. Okay, it's okay. I need to be I need to be careful about this. Uh, resources? No, wait. Where the hell is that? Heat recycling. Oh, it's over here. Waste heat conversion, heat recycling, okay. Heat demand is also going to decrease. I mean, I, I like that, so... Again, I don't think it matters which one I choose, but we're going to do that one. So that is obviously also going to help us over here. For some reason, that went down. Why did that go down? I'm making so... How is it 8, 100, 880? Is it because they just finished that, maybe? Potentially. Well, it is what it is. <laughs> we do have some restockpile. Okay, we're out of the stockpile now. <laughs> um, but yeah, as soon as the temperature arises, I think we're gonna end the episode number one and number two. We're gonna stop this again. And we're gonna have to keep on uh, exploring. Uh, the crime is... Oh, well, it actually is diminishing now. I don't know why it's diminishing but if it is that's good squalor is growing though so right as soon as oh, let's just speed time up a little bit because right now i don't think we can do much in here at this point so soon as i'm not 100 sure how the timer there we go well, there we go that's good we can now immediately before i forget it turn that off and we need to go over here. This is still obviously super, super safe. There we go. Still making a surplus. And as soon as you're done, we'll see what happens. But then you're probably going to have to go down here. What? Ah. Okay, we can have more, obviously. Yes. Uh, let's... Oh, we have something over here. Badge of shame. The contagion prevention. So, steward, with the disease currently under control, more and more citizens resent being forced to wear unwarranted infectious badges. They're not unwarranted. If you're infectious, you wear the badge. I... I got the clap. <laughs> okay. Cool. But I ain't spread that to no one just by breathing, complained one. But with this blasted thing pinned on, everyone runs at the side of me like a goddamn leper. A mixed coalition of delegates agrees with the complaints and has drafted a new law which would deregulate the issue of contagion altogether. The no contagion prevention law is now available in the council. Interesting. Okay. So s some of them are gonna unlock by events too. So, okay, before we continue, we're looking super, super fine on food. Almost to the point where I think we can uh, turn this off, right? Yes. See, that's good. That was a good choice. We are sitting at so much food right now that we can easily do that. Good, good, good. So that's fine. We still don't know exactly how to produce goods, as far as I'm aware. Ah, I'm an idiot. I'm such an idiot. We can do another logistics district. See, this is why we restart the game. Because this is why we restart games. Uh, because 
literally forgot that that was a thing. We just can't get to that one. Just can't get to that one, and I'm gonna assume it's the same here, right? No, we can get to that one. Good. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Good. Good job. So, now we know that we've got another expedition station, I think. And we have to remember that we can't bring home people, too. Which could mean that we can boost this, but like... 37 weeks, it's not much, is it? We're still not out of it, and... Well, okay, you know what? I think I said before, potentially... I might have said before, potentially, that uh, one of the things that I struggled a bit with is that um, if I restart, I don't really 100% know that we have that sound. It's very loud. Uh, yeah, and if I restart, I don't like 100% know exactly what to do differently, but I do now. I definitely have some ideas already. First of all, which laws to pass, childhood law. Contagion law, stuff like that, could be useful to be, you know, a little bit ahead on the curve, if you would. But also other buildings, etc, etc. And what maybe, what maybe not to research necessarily, or at least like initially. So, yeah, if it comes to restart, I think that will be a little bit uh, okay, is what I want to say. But uh, hopefully it's not going to come to that. Hopefully I am going to be able to do this. Like if we go out to the Frostland, we're currently doing all of this over here. Ooh, what I could also do, now that I think about it. Because surely... Oh, can we... Yeah, we can connect from here. So if we connect here... Oh, look at this. Super long. Can't go here, obviously. But we can, we can do this, right? No, I can't do that because it's 10 people. Okay. Right, well, there we go. There's why we want to do another expedition district then. Gotcha. But yeah, I thought about, you know, preparing a little bit for that. So, we're doing we're doing okay. Heat is fine, housing fine, food fine, materials and goods not so fine, but 60 weeks left. Can we do it? I don't know, but we are definitely going to find out. Pretty soon, I think. Hopefully you'll join me for the continuation of this. For now though, this has been Ghost with Gaming with me, Christopher. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.